East Coast LQ reviews. Today, I got another whiskey review. I got Zach here with me today. Um, this is actually pretty hard to find, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to find it. This is actually, uh, I've had this bottle for a while. That's why there's only a little bit left. Saves it for review. This is actually batch one, bottle 61. It's a 46% alcohol by volume, 92 proof. This is Sons of Liberty Saison, distilled from a Saison mash. Saison's actually like a, uh, they're out of South Kingstown, Rhode Island. So it says distilled and bottled by Sons of Liberty Spirits Co. 1425 Kingstown Road out of South Kingstown, RI. Actually has the mash bill, the boil, fermentation, distillation, and barrels. Um, it says barrels aged in newly charred American oak barrels, which is like a bourbon barrel. Um, mash bill, it says Pilsner malt, pale malt, Vienna malt, and wheat malt. Um... But yeah, I'm pretty sure the, the label actually changed too if you are able to find it. But uh, crack it open, we'll go over the color. I said there's really not much left, but I'll try to distribute it between me and Zach here. So we'll get a decent amount to review. So, have you already tried this? Uh, yeah, I've had it before. So, this is my first time having it. Like I said, just enough for us to review it. Well, that's perfect. So color of it, nice uh, amber color. Mm. Nice light golden. Well, it's kind of amber. It's like brownish. You know, I think that's probably from those bourbon barrels. Yeah. Well, oh, let me just get this. Really? Oh, it's got ads in the middle of the song, but different song. Okay. Um. But yeah, let's go for the nose. Lots of malt, mm -hmm. citrusy, so like lime. Definitely has a strong alcohol smell. Yeah, some caramel. Yeah, for the most part, I really get like like caramel and malt. And like yeah, I was just say it, 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 you do get like that sweet kind of like caramel. subtle smell of caramel. Lots of malt though, like you would get from like a scotch, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Definitely a lot of scotch. It definitely smells like it has a good alcohol bite to it. Well, it's got like the malt you would get from scotch. You know, you know, like scotch is usually like 100% malted barley. Yeah. You get like the malt, you know. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like it does have that, but it has like that strong kind of like alcohol smell itself. Yeah. You know yep. what I mean? Some apples, right? Kind of fruity. Yeah, kind of like a like a dried pear or something like that. But uh, let's go for the taste. You say dry pear. Lots of malt on the taste as well. Oh, yeah. Vanilla, a little spicy. Yeah, yeah, all right, spice. Just on, just on the caramel. The finish though, you get a lot of the caramel, and you definitely get a lot of those. Uh, you get a little bit of lemon. You get a good amount of the fruit um, taste. That's a little loud. <laughs> it's all cold. Yeah. Turn it down a little bit. But, um, yeah. I, I, I like it. I think it's pretty good. I, I like that lingering kind of, like, sweet, like I said, the caramel taste. And it's got, like, a nice citrusy kind of, like, lime and, like, fruitiness, like apples and... Yeah. Maybe, um, like, peaches. Mm -hmm. And it also has, like, that little bit of smoky flavor, too. True. Maybe, like, some figs. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of, like, dried fruits, maybe. Yeah. It's not bad. I actually really like this one. Um, what would you say? It's kind of smoky. Yeah, it's smoky on the on, on on when you first sip it, but as you taste it and as you let the flavors just hang out in your mouth, it's just starts to develop. Get, yeah, it starts to develop a little bit more of the caramel. Um, the lemon comes out. You slightly get, spicy, but like you get a decent amount of that barrel too. Yeah. You, so you get like oak and vanilla. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot of vanilla. Too. Um, it's too bad that this is really hard to find, and I'm not even sure if they actually distribute this anymore because I went on. I'm pretty sure they don't even have this listed on their website anymore. Yeah. I think price of this was around like 40 bucks, which I mean, considering um, what it is, they actually, they, they put a lot of work into this. I mean, they, they even put a lot of stuff on the back. Um, this is the boil, lemon peel, pink peppercorn, Riesling great must, Holotar, Hers, Rucker hops, and Sriracha ace hops. Fermentation, a minimum of seven, seven days with Bell Saison yeast. 
says distillation, double distilled to an average of 124 proof. So oh, so it's it's the steps of how they make it. That's yeah, dude, it's pretty dope. And then, like I said, barrel aged in newly charred American oak barrels. Um, and this is right in Rhode Island, the Sons of Liberty. Pretty sure they make beer too, so they make beer and they make spirits. Um, what do you want to give it for a rating? Give it a nine. I like it. A nine? Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm very fond of it. I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna give it like a. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. With that being said, um, it's kind of because the the availability isn't really the best. Um, it's good. It has really good flavor. Uh, but like I said, it's just hard for people to get it. So I mean, I'm gonna have to mark it down like a point for that. You know. Yeah. Um, would you recommend it to somebody if they can actually find it? Oh yeah, I definitely recommend it, especially if you if you really like um like drinks like this and stuff like that like like spirits. It's, yeah, it's it's perfectly balanced in my opinion. You should definitely try it. Yeah, it's got like a nice fruity, citrusy, um kind of sweet yeah, aspect like, to it. Yeah, and no. then it also has like the the scotch aspect, you know, mm -hmm. so it's really malty and. What were you gonna say? No, I think it's, I think it's it's pretty good. I I really like it. Now for um. For recommendation, would you recommend this to somebody? Yeah, you already asked. Me. Oh, I did. My yeah. bad. Oh, I was gonna. No, what I was gonna say was, would you would you uh, recommend seeking this out? Yes. So if like, if someone sees it in the store, definitely grab it. Try it. Yeah. If you like, I said, if you really like, um, if you're really into kind of like, different spirits yeah, like this, into like different spirits, definitely um, try it out, and if, especially because it's it's limited basically yeah that you would definitely want to try it and it's really unique too like yeah. how many uh spirits do you know that's distilled from a saison mash you know so they went out of their way with this one um you know mm -hmm. um i'm gonna recommend it like zach said and uh i recommend picking up a bottle if you can find it um chances are you might be able to only find it in like the rhode island connecticut mass area like yeah, so of, like the east coast kind of like new england yeah you know, I'm, sh I'm sure their distribution isn't that far. And that's, that's like I said, with, like, the availability. Um, I'd probably give it more points if it was distributed more. Um, but, yeah, and like I said, I'm not even sure if this is even something you can buy anymore, which is mm -hmm. kind of sad because it is really good. And I know they do different stuff like this. Um, so they do different, um, different mashes. So they do, d like, different mash, uh, mash bills. And yeah. this was just like one of them, you know, so this was probably like, like a little project they were working on, seeing how it came out. And if they did get rid of it, I'm not sure why they did, because it actually is really good. You know? They could just be doing it, they could bring it out for like a seasonal thing, something it, like that. It like, could have been too expensive to produce. That too. You know, it could But then been. again, they could just always up the price of the bottle. Yeah, exactly. Now for like a $40, $50 bottle, would you say that it's worth it? Yeah, I honestly, I thought it was a little bit more than that. Yeah. I, I, I figured it to be like a 65, maybe 75. I actually got that for free. Yeah. And I got it probably like halfway. There you go. Because this is one of my boss's uh, sampler bottles, and he gave it to me before he um, sold the place. He actually gave me a couple different things to, to um, review before he sold the place. But uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's any other liquor beers that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos on liquor beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.